I'm back with the Okami mask, and this time we're only using Pechi as the interface layer on the supports. <laughs> I got a lot of grief on my last video of using PEG-G for supports on PLA, and rightly so. I'd use PEG-G for the entire support structure. And as you can see, using PEG-G for the entire support structure wasted a lot of filament. But today we're exploring using PEG-G as just the interface layer on this 3D print. We're revisiting the bottom half of the Okami mask and we're going to figure out is it worth it? Or is it not for the added material that you use for the pet G in the interface layer? And in case you missed it, this is an Okami mask, which is a wolf mask, which is from the game Okami, which features a goddess in wolf form. It's a perfect model to experiment with multi-material 3D printing, and this model is from STL Flix. So why use PETG for just the interface? Unlike the full PETG supports, this one will use less material when we just do it in the interface layer. And it should have the same ease of removing the supports that having the full PETG supports used. So what is an interface? It's a thin layer of material that sits between your support and your actual 3D print. For this print, we're using Overture PLA and Overture PET G for the support material. Let's see how it turns out. As the print progresses, you can see the PET G interface layer. This should make support removal a breeze without wasting too much extra filament. It's time to see how easy it is to remove these supports. As we can see there is the interface layer of the actual pet G in orange. So this one did come off a lot cleaner than our original full pet G supports. I mean, if we sit here, we could pick away. We did have some, some print failure. So some of the PETG support did get mixed into the PLA ingrained in it, but you can see this print came out much, much cleaner than the original, than the original one with the full PETG supports. And the supports came off pretty easily. Compared to the full PETG supports, this one wasted a lot less material. And it still gave us a smooth, clean uh, finish. And here I am getting sidetracked when I missed a support interface. Now, actually, that probably really helped separating that part with the PET-G uh, versus the PLA. How does it stack up using full PET-G supports versus using Petchy as the interface versus using just PLA supports. We're using a Petchy interface, wasted about 60 grams of filament. Now, there really wasn't a lot of materials difference between the Petchy interface and the PLA supports, but it was the amount of times the printer has switched materials, which was 64. That probably equated to the three and a half hours of time difference between printing with a Petchy interface versus printing with PLA supports. If you're looking for a cleaner finish and don't mind the extra complexity or extra material or time it takes to print, using PETG as an interface layer is a great way to remove the sports much quicker and have a cleaner looking uh, product without having to do as much post-processing. I'd probably argue how much extra post-processing, it's probably not a lot, but it is definitely cleaner than some of the ones we've seen where we've removed PLA supports and you get those little sort of nubs that you would need to sand down or clean up in, in post-production. I truly believe the extra time it takes to print a multi-material print versus what you would spend in post-production 
is definitely not the same. It's gonna be a lot quicker to clean this up than the extra time it took to print this with the Petchy interfaces. Overall, I am pretty impressed with how well the Petchy interfaces worked and how easily they came off, especially when we popped out these little uh, sort of nubs that were in here. Um, they popped out really easily, much easier than if it was probably PLA. Have you experimented with different support materials or interfaces? I'd love to hear it in the comments below. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making.